You know, the problem's not solved yet. I've got this diesel wagon back into my shop chasing this smoking problem. And uh, there's still a number of things I could check, simple things. But I've got to determine whether or not the injection pump timing is correct. You know, the engine was overhauled, but the pump wasn't rebuilt, and the turbocharger wasn't rebuilt, and the injectors weren't rebuilt. As you've learned, I redid the fuel injectors, but it didn't make a whole lot of improvement in the smoking problem. So this has me really concerned. So I'm not 100% sure that injection pump timing is going to be the issue here, but I can't keep working on this until I determine that the injection pump timing is correct. Along with that, I wanna make sure the cam timing, the timing marks internally in the engine are correct too because if there's something off with that timing, I could be working forever trying to find this problem and waste a lot of time. So at this point, right now, in the diagnostic cycle of trying to find this problem, we're gonna bring out my injection pump timing kit. We're gonna get the nose of this car up in the air a little bit, and we're going to check delivery timing at the pump and see just how close it is to factory specifications. When you're checking or setting injection pump timing, uh, particularly on these 617 turbo diesel engines, you need a really, really good light. I mean, it's hard enough to try to hold a flashlight and look down there, but if you have some sort of a stable light that you can really shine down in there around the front of the engine to see those marks on the counterbalance and to clearly see the pointer, you're way ahead in the game. If you don't have good lighting, you're gonna have a lot of frustration setting the IP timing. But look, this is where my super light really shines. Ah, uh, I get the pun. <laughs> you know, I, with this base mount or floor mount attachment that I've made for it, I can sit here and swivel this light like this and tilt these lights until I can get it right on those numbers. And it's clearly showing me now that it is at 23 degrees before top dead center. Now that means the injection pump timing is right on. Now you may say, Kent, well, according to the factory manual, the 617 turbo diesel engine is supposed to be 24 degrees plus or minus one. So I'm kind of on the low side. But I'm not gonna set it on the high side because this engine has been recently rebuilt. And you need to understand that the 23 degrees that I'm seeing there is the point at which the drip completely shut off. When it was dripping at one drip per second, I was right about 24 to 24 and a half. And that'll kind of give you an idea just how critical the timing on that drip is because it's only going to be one or two degrees before it's kind of dripping kind of fast and then all of a sudden it's off. So that's why you have to kind of play back and forward to get this right. And you know, I, I came up with a number of months ago, the pressurized system of doing injection pump timing that's called a high pressure system. And I prefer that method because I believe it's more accurate, but it's more time consuming to set up. So when I'm just checking delivery pump timing, I'm going to use the flow pressure method. That's the method where you pump the hand primer pump and you kind of watch the drips and kind of... <laughs> and the thing about the flow pressure method is you really need two guys. You just have to have two guys. With the high pressure method, you can actually do it with one person. Obviously, it's easier if you have somebody else, another set of eyes, either looking at the, the marks or looking at the, the drip rate when it's coming out of the tube here. Okay, it's time to roll the wagon back outside. Unfortunately, I did not find anything wrong with the engine this time around that would indicate a reason for that black smoke coming out of the tailpipe. You know, I did yesterday pull the valve cover. We checked the timing on the camshaft and we also checked valve clearances and there was nothing there that would indicate a problem. So what do we do now? What's next? There could be something wrong with the injection pump itself, but what I've learned over the years is that is the very, very last thing I check. Because really, the only way you can check it is to take it off the engine and to send it into a Bosch service center to have it bench tested. And very few times over the years have I had to replace an injection pump. They're very robust, but that doesn't mean that you can't have a problem with the pump. But as you're going through this troubleshooting sequence trying to find a smoking or lack of power problem or hard starting problem, you know, consider the pump last. All right? I'm just going to encourage you, try everything else because in 80 to 90% of the cases I've come across at least, it turns out not to be the pump. It turns out to be something else. It could be delivery valves in the pump that you can access and clean. They might be sticking or it might be timing or it might be some other issue maybe with the Alda 
but very seldom is it the pump itself. At least at this point, I'm gonna let that go, and I'm not interested now to have to take the pump off and ship it out. But what I am going to do is go after the turbocharger next. I wanna make sure that turbocharger is performing properly. So what I'm gonna do later in the week is I'm gonna hook this up. This is my turbocharger test kit, and I'll be able to hook this up to the intake manifold, move this pressure gauge inside the cabin, and we're gonna take this thing out on a road trip. We're gonna find out if this turbocharger is producing adequate boost. And if it is, then we're gonna go after the Alda device and the overboost protection circuit, which can often be a problem, particularly with power. Now, if there's something really wacko with that thing, it can also create extra smoke because you're not getting the airflow through the engine when you need it because you're not getting any turbo boost, by the way. So, all right, this one's next up. Hopefully before the end of the year, we can find out why this diesel engine is smoking so badly. Earlier in the video, I talked about the two methods of checking or testing injection pump timing that I use. I use either the flow pressure method or the high pressure method. Now, if you're interested in learning more about these two methods, I've done a separate video explaining them in more detail, so I'll put a link below in the show more part of the description that'll take you right to that video as well.